You guys, this season, it's making me lose my mind. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing Monday. If you are new here, hello, my name is Miranda and every summer I cover all things Big Brother. I basically just talk shit about the house guests and that's what I do. On the off season, I post random videos, some TV show videos some random random videos you never know what you're gonna get with me so make sure you hit that subscribe button it really helps me out a lot thanks moving on from all of that in today's video we're gonna be talking about some of the stuff that has been going on in the Big Brother house the last couple of days so let's get started all right quick recap as we know unfortunately Miss Janelle the Queen of BB she got evicted last week and it was definitely very heartbreaking. I have had to look inward and onward and um, just basically comfort myself because it was terrible. And this week has honestly not been much different. It has been trash as well. It has been so difficult seeing <laughs> Kaser, so sad the way he has been um as we know enzo the new jersey guy he won head of household which sucks but it is very on brand for the season so far for this year it is what it is like this decade so far is just you know starting off on the wrong foot and it is just continuing on that foot and it really sucks but I was gonna say I'm trying to look on the bright side, but that's that's becoming very hard, especially this season with Big Brother. But yeah, you know, like I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm literally losing my mind with these house guests. They are just meh. So, anyways, Enzo won how to, head of household. He ended up putting Kevin and Kaser up on the block, and that was not surprising. We all knew he was gonna go that route. It is such a safe move and so boring. And then when was it? Yeah, Saturday night was the power veto competition. Kevin ended up winning the POV, which is great for him. Like, good for you, dude. I'm very happy. Uh, well, not really, like, because that sucks for Kaser. But, like, I'm excited at the same time because finally someone is going to use the power veto on themselves. And that brings some excitement to this boring ass, unflavored ass game. This season has just been so bland um and someone being on the block winning the power veto and using it on themselves provides some kind of excitement so that's cool the power veto ceremony did happen not too long ago and of course kevin used the power veto on himself and enzo ended up putting christmas up on the block yeah that's how that happened National Hot Dog Day actually volunteered to go up on the block as a pawn. Yes, on an all-star season, we are having people volunteer to go up on the block. For the greater good of the house, they are doing the house a service by volunteering to go up on the block as a pawn. Such giving and kind people are on this season. It's mind-blowing. But yeah, to me personally, I honestly can't believe that we are getting volunteering um, on an all-star season. But at the same time, like I really shouldn't be that shocked. There's a lot of stuff that is going on on this season that you really wouldn't think would be happening on an all-star season. Yet here we are sitting here talking about it. So it, nothing is really surprising anymore, to be honest. It's just a little disappointing, you know? Anyways, so that has been the talk of the town all day. Everybody's kind of been bitching like, oh, is this really the all-star season that we have been provided? And yes, it is. We might as well get used to it. But it doesn't mean that we're not going to complain about it still. But we just need to accept it because it's not going to change. Kaser is likely going home this, se this season, <laughs> this week, unless he is able to do the Lord's work and somehow get the votes to flip, which I think would be immaculate. It would be beautiful. It would be awe-inspiring, God and goddess level kind of stuff if he were to be able to flip the vote. 
and Christmas end up getting evicted. If I were in the house, that would be the route I would be going. Why? Because Christmas has won competitions. She is capable of winning competitions. She is good with a lot of people in the house. She is a threat and she is actually doing pretty good socially. She's kind of a bitch behind the scenes, but she is pretty friendly with most people. So if I were in the house, I'd be looking at her sideways like, okay, when am I gonna get this opportunity again? Might as well take it, let's get this hoe out. But at the same time, we all know that everybody on the season, except for Kaser and Janelle and Bailey and Davon to an extent, um, they are all sheep and just want to go with the herd and just add that to my reasoning why this season is so unflavored. <laughs> But yeah, so that's basically the stats of the house right now. Currently, Tyler is putting in that work, honey. He, of all people, is actually trying to play BB old schoolish as much as a new schooler can play old school. So he is talking amongst a bunch of people, Enzo, Davon. I think that's been about it. I shouldn't say a bunch of people. It's really been Enzo and Davon, to be honest. But he is laying out that groundwork to get Danny out of the house, which is a beautiful thought to me. Um, yesterday, there was a wall yeller, woo! I love wall yellers. I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people go, that really attacks the integrity of the game. Like CBS gives a shit about the integrity of the game. Like pump the brakes, turbo. CBS doesn't care about the integrity of the game. They have been working and weaving and advantage here and twist hearing all over the place. They don't care about the advantage of the game. So why the hell should I? Honestly, this game isn't the same as it used to be where way back in the day, sure, I would have been like, damn, that really sucks. Like a wall, a wall yeller is really screwing up with the strategy and the realness of this game. However, I'm not really interested in the realness and strategy of this game anymore because it is lacking both of those things now. New school is just trash, so why not just keep on brand with it and throw a wall yeller in there? Like that doesn't bother me at all. Anyways, the wall yeller yesterday actually picked a pretty good time. It was right after the backyard opened again and the majority of the house was outside. And I will insert a clip here. So if you didn't hear it, the wall yeller said Nicole and Cody are, what was it? Oh my God. Wall Yeller said Nicole and Cody are playing everyone. If it were me, I would have definitely preferred them to say like Danny up in there, like include Danny. But it has been realized that Evil Dick is the one that made the suggestion on what the Wall Yeller should say. And of course he's not going to tell them or suggest to throw his daughter's game under the bus. So, but at the same time, like I'm just excited. And you know, the majority of the people that were in the backyard heard it. It was one of the most crystal clear wall yellings I have ever heard in my life. And Christmas definitely heard it. Um, Memphis definitely heard it. Kaser. Everybody basically heard that clear ass wall yell. And it was a beautiful moment. But ever since then, people are kind of opening their eyes. Davon and... Was it Davon and Bailey? I want to say it was Davon and Bailey. They were even talking about how they were really surprised because they thought that Nicole and Cody weren't good. They thought that Nicole and Cody had beef and weren't on good terms. So that just basically shows you where they were at in their game. The wall yeller was necessary for them because they weren't getting it. It was clear as day to me, but Davon just didn't see it. She thought that Nicole and Cody were on the outs and there was no alliance there. So thank you, Wall Yeller. I appreciate that. But ever since then, like Ian, for example, he was on the hammock earlier and doing his thing, swinging, swinging his swing. And he was basically talking to himself or the camera. And he was basically saying that he feels like he is on a sinking raft and that he might have aligned with the wrong people. 
and I definitely think that for people like Davon and Ian, the wall yeller was an advantage, well, not an advantage, but a help because their eyes are kind of open now. Christmas very clearly heard what the person said, but it doesn't really seem to make much difference for her. I don't know. She's a moron. Um, I don't really know where Memphis is at with this whole thing. Memphis is just a weird guy. Like, I don't really pay attention to him on the live feeds or even in the updates. Like, I just don't really care about Memphis. I kind of forget that he's even there nine times out of ten. He's just that guy that's in the corner, just there, you know? Danny is, I don't know what her opinions on the wall yelling is, but I definitely think that for Davon ian even tyler i think that it opened their eyes a little bit and they are noticing situations i definitely think that tyler is going to want to get rid of franzel as soon as possible so that he could have cody to himself we'll see how that works i know that right now tyler is on the offense like he is planning ahead and he is trying to plant seeds in getting danny backdoored somehow like Everybody that he's talked to agrees that Danny needs to be a backdoor, and I definitely would agree with that as well. They need to keep her out of it. Do whatever they have to do to make her not suspicious, because she does have a fairly good intuition. I'm not going to dog her. Like, she is a very good intuitively person. I don't know if I said that right, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. So we shall see how that works out. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about everything that we talked about in today's video. There's a lot more that goes on, but I try to keep my videos short. You guys, I mean, come on. Are you really going to want to sit here for 30 minutes listening to me talk? Probably not. But that is the gist of everything that's been going down. I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I love you all so much. Bye.